What is up console superstars and how are you all doing? I'm hoping that you are all going to have or are actually already having a tip top day and night. As you guys can see we have stayed on this losing streak and right now what we are looking to do is get out of it, start winning some games. The division is starting to tighten up our last five games we haven't been producing for our team and that we need to do and guys as you guys can see we are on Hall of Fame right now and how special is that on Hall of Fame we just clobbered the ball and is that going deep enough to actually get out of here back to back home runs back to back at bats with the home run so I'm gonna guess the distance right now I'm going to say 385 feet I don't think that went that far that was a wall scraper in my opinion but we just got improved to Hall of Fame and right off the bat we hit a home run in Hall of Fame 383 feet we were actually two feet off guys can you believe it but it feels awesome it feels awesome to get the difficulty raised and still be able to actually perform in the big leagues and uh, let's see actually where it landed because I thought it was pretty close to the fence and it was actually pretty close it was probably two rows up and now we're playing shortstop right here tony walters is hitting last time i was actually last episode i was having such a hard time saying the word contribute and honestly guys i don't know why i was having a hard time like it it comes off naturally now and it comes off as a word i say naturally but just for like those 30 seconds I just couldn't get to roll the tree into it and it sounded so weird but I'm glad I got over it and let's continue playing we get another fastball and we hit a line drive down the line that is definitely going to be a double and are we going to be able to go for the cycle today who knows but we are two for two we are producing for this team and that is definitely what Derek Jeter needs to do to help these guys win and stay in first place so we don't have to fight any team for the wild card spot or even a place for the playoffs now Paul Goldschmidt is hitting I have a good a uh, good feeling in me that he might hit a home run instead he hits a uh, pop-up the other way he's most likely gonna dive he makes the play and he tries to make the throw but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in there without a problem and we are there without a problem so Carlos Gonzalez I believe that is or maybe that's not him made an absolutely amazing diving grab and now Jake Lamb is hitting and he has a chance to drive us in 0-1 count the pitch comes and he hits a bomb to center field and when I say a bomb it's an absolute bomb that the center fielder just misses and he's gonna have a chance to hit a triple could he go for an inside the park home run oh I thought he was going home actually guys if there would have been an error on the throw to the cutoff man he actually would have had a chance at an inside the park home run but I'm pretty sure they would have scored scored it a triple and now the game is tied three to three bottom of the fifth we are still hitting here and it's still the same pitcher we need to be smart and swing and just try to hit base hits we get a four seamer down low and they've been throwing that a lot lately now we were very early so we need to time the swing correctly and be ready for the off speed because they're not always going to throw it inside the strike zone and right there we get a little taste of our medicine as we have been also too anxious but it has been working out for us there we take the slider and that was a good take right now we're looking to take some pitches but if it's too close to the strike zone then obviously we got to pull the trigger I thought that was a little bit too close I'm pretty sure that was a slider and as you guys can see we were just late or else we could have hit it probably the other way and gotten a nice at bat with it he throws us a curveball that we obviously swing a little bit too early and the zone was a little bit too high over it anyways but hey you can't hit them all we have gotten this team back on the scoreboard as we are accounted for two of the runs as we did hit a home run and we did end up scoring in the last one so right here we're gonna make a nice diving play really easy flip he gets taken out and he's not gonna be able to actually turn it due to the fact that he got taken out so here I am batting it's the bottom of the eighth there's a new pitcher this guy does not throw a fastball only sinker slider changeup so we gotta be ready to hit the off speed pitches and he comes off and he hits us so obviously Derek Jeter's not gonna like it this is the third time this season he's been hit and they're always aiming for the legs 
I don't know why. Will we be told to steal a base here? We actually are being told to steal a base. And the Rockies are a team that are full of rookies. So I think that the catcher might not be too good. We're going on first movement and we definitely stole that. It's actually too high anyways. So he wouldn't be able to gun us out anyways. So it's the bottom of the seventh. Now Paul Goldschmidt has a 2-2 count and he definitely has it in him to hit a bomb that actually takes over the game. It's a line drive to right field. Will, will we be sent home? No, we're actually told to stay, but we go anyways and it pays off as we end up tying the game. So being aggressive pays off and Paul Goldschmidt just hit his 1,000 major league hit and he's on his way to basically 2,000 now. So top of the eighth, we're fielding here. Hopefully we have a chance to maybe hit in the bottom of the eighth or the bottom of the ninth. Either way, I would just want us to be winning because we deserve to actually take the lead and win a game for once because we have not won in so long that it is incredible. If I show you guys the standings, you guys would be surprised. So bottom of the ninth, we have a chance to actually drive in the winning run. This guy throws basically all fastballs. And let's see if he throws anything near the zone where we would actually be willing to swing. And right off the bat, he throws us a fastball, actually a cutter, right down the middle. But we were just early on it. Anything else near the strike zone, we're going for it. That one was right inside the strike zone. And unfortunately, we were too late to actually hit it. The controller is shaking, but that isn't going to stop us from actually hitting that little blooper in there. The runner is going to go home, and will he be able to score? Who knows? The throw to the plate, and it's over. The game is over. Jeter has hit the game-winning hit, and oh my god, this game was absolutely amazing. It was incredible. It was fantastic, guys. Wow, we just needed a triple to hit for the cycle. And right there, it was a little blooper, guys. We were jammed inside, but Jeter just managed to get his hands around it. An excellent throw from the center fielder, and he has an excellent dive right there to actually get his hand around the catcher's tag. And uh, honestly, this episode went over seven minutes, but it's probably because I'm talking. So without further ado, let's go into game number two. Oh, snap. Look at the Gatorade. Wow, that was some pretty fake Gatorade, honestly. And his jersey isn't even wet. But let's go on to game number two. So guys, considering that video or that game actually took over seven minutes i decided i'm actually gonna cut it short right here i don't want to actually make a 12 13 let's say i don't really want to make a 15 minute video on Derek jeter unless you guys are actually willing to watch it through the whole 15 minutes and if you guys are then please leave it down in the comment section and i will be making let's say longer Derek jeter videos but anyways guys if you liked today's video, which was very special, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't joined the console superstars already, make sure you guys do by hitting that subscribe button. And as always, guys, have a great day and night. Stay positive. Keep on grinding. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, console superstars.